Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be reading James chapter 5. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come, come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and you shall eat the flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers, who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. Crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Ye have lived in pleasure on earth, and been waiting ye would nourish your hearts as a day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just, and he does not resist you. So what this means is the people that they're talking about in this section have literally fulfilled earthly desires and gone after material things like wealth and power and all those things on earth they all disappear when we die and go to heaven or unfortunately if someone does go to hell our earthly possessions do not come with us they wither away verse number seven faith endures awaiting christ's return be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it, until he receives the early and later rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, but unless ye be condemned, behold, the judge stands, standeth before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for example, of suffering, of affliction, and of patience. Behold, recount them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender mercy. But above all these things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by another oath, but let your ye be ye, and your name nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. So what this is talking about is we need to be patient and endure and stay on the right path while we wait for the Lord's return. By doing this, we will be ready when our time comes. Verse 13. Faith prays for the afflicted. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if we have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual firmament prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it, not, it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit so this section is talking about the power of prayer now in churches we should be connecting with one another and praying for each other during times of needs and crisis but also we should be rejoicing with one another as well during wonderful times that God gives us what we need and fellowshipping with other people and doing those things is important so we need to learn to do that now faith confronts the earning brother verse 19 brethren if any of you do 
from the truth, and one con convert him, let him know that which converteth the sinner from the error, error of his ways shall save a soul from the death and shall hide a multitude of sin. So we need to make sure that we are connecting with our brothers and sisters in Christ to help them along their way. And same thing with us. We need other brothers and sisters in Christ to keep us accountable. So we need people to be in our lives. That is why it's so important for us to have some type of fellowship with other believers. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will be doing um, James chapter 4 next.